Yo! Also, hi! Uh, this is Eric Strangefellow. Today I want to talk to you about this shiny little critter, uh, a mocha pot. Um, I love my mocha pot. Uh, I highly recommend that you get one. I'm not getting paid by any particular, well, I'm not getting paid by anyone, uh, but particularly I'm not getting paid by the brand of mocha pot that I have. So I'm just recommending mocha pots uh, writ large. Um, I'm gonna show you kind of how they work. Um, just to talk about them a little bit, I don't just like them because I'm an Enneagram type four and I like things that are a little offbeat. Um, not that this would be offbeat in other parts of the world, just kind of in the States. I don't think these are super popular. So what is a mocha pot? Maybe I should start there. Uh, mocha pot is this little critter. When operated correctly, will make espresso um, that you can drink safely, I guess. Um, it would be weird if it was unsafe to drink. This thing and a French press has, I almost said pretty much, but it has literally replaced all of my coffee making needs. I don't make coffee all that much anymore. I've switched to drinking tea uh, during the work week, but I still have, I still make um, espresso or cappuccino on the weekends with my mocha. Um, for me, like a regular coffee maker, uh, though the quality of the coffee is probably a little bit better that way, it's just too clunky. I don't have any countertop real estate that I want to spend um, on a coffee maker. So, this little feller is cool, it's shiny, um, it's small, uh, yeah. So let's jump over and I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like when it's making and explain what that is like. Okay, in short, what is going to happen here is you're going to place water in the reservoir, you're going to apply heat underneath it, the water is going to turn to steam, which is going to pass through the, the uh, espresso grounds. Much like, you know, with drip coffee, the, the water goes through the opposite direction. In this case, it's steam coming up. It's going to pass through the little apparatus inside like that. And then water's, then water, flavored, coffee flavored espresso water is going to come out of the sprout there um, and fill this part up. And then you'll be good to go. So this is literally all of the notes I took before sitting down to talk about this. Everything else I'm just going to rely on my memory uh, to fill in blanks. Um, this also isn't like a history thing, so I don't have to like go too in depth. But just out of curiosity, does it make you feel better that I don't have many notes? Or is that something I should keep to myself? Um, so what I did write down is that um, the mocha pot was invented by Alfonso Bialetti. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm not promoted by anybody. Mine happens to be a Bialetti brand. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if that means it's legit or if just some other Bialetti came along and stamped their name on mocha pots. Um, this was made in 1933. Um, when I learned about it, I kind of heard about it as a, like a real like post-World War II thing. So clearly it wasn't invented post-World War II, but it, that is where it 
picked up popularity. I'm assuming because uh, the war, the Second World War, wasn't uh, very friendly to Italy. Uh, they're known for enjoying coffee, at least that's the impression that um, I think we have in the West. And uh, this thing, as I mentioned, it's sturdy. Um, sturdy, I think it's cheap to manufacture. It's certainly cheap to make then espresso in your own home. So uh, that is my assumption as to why it became so popular after the war. Uh, so this was named for the Yemeni city of Mocha, um, which is known for their coffee trade, which is how the drink, you know, Mocha uh, was also named. So I'm bad about this kind of stuff. I've used this thing for maybe five years, is a guess is how long I've had a mocha pot. Mocha is spelled M-O-K-A. Never once in those five years did it occur to me that it was like a playful name for mocha, the type of coffee. Like in my brain, M-O-K-A was entirely separate and different from M-O-C-H-A, so that's fun. Um, brains are great when they work well, like mine will sometimes do. Right, well, that's a mocha pot. Um, it's fun, I highly recommend it. Uh, even if you don't use it all of the time, I think that it is a thing that will look kind of neat on a counter space, might be a good topic of conversation at the very least. As I said, spur of the moment in a previous video, I'm not gonna try to work this into like, a, this is gonna be less spur of the moment and probably more clunky, but um, life seemingly has very little purpose. Um, there seems to be almost no reason to do any of the things that we do, um, but sometimes it's nice to do things. So as much as there's meaning in anything, um, it would mean a lot to me if you would like and subscribe. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Like, why not? Um, we're all going to die, probably. Seems to be the case, at least. So it will like, it's like this easy, click, click, and then you've made me a little bit happier. Um, okay, I want happiness for you in this bleak world, so if I can do anything to help you with that, I'm all ears. Uh, thanks. Bye.